Are you an eggnog fan, but don't want all of that processed sugar? Well, I have a super delicious alternative for you today. Stay tuned. Hi there, my name is Katrina. Welcome to the Organics channel, where we get together every week in the kitchen. We experiment, we create new recipes to hopefully keep all of your meals new, fun, interesting, and most of all, nutritious. Today, we're going to be making a golden vegan eggnog. Let's begin by making homemade hazelnut milk. Spread out one and a half cups of hazelnuts onto a parchment lined baking sheet. Bake in a 350 degree preheated oven for 10 to 15 minutes or until golden brown and fragrant. Let your roasted hazelnuts cool just long enough so that you can pick them up with your hands. Place them onto a cloth, wrap them up, and then twist the cloth so that they stay in. You're going to want to rub pretty vigorously to remove the peels from the hazelnuts. It will be easiest to do this in two batches. If a few still have some peel on them, that's totally okay. Place your peeled hazelnuts into a high speed blender, along with three cups of filtered water, one eighth of a teaspoon of either pink Himalayan or sea salt, and about one inch of peeled and chopped up turmeric root. Blend up your ingredients really well until you reach a nice creamy consistency. Wrap a nut milk bag around a large glass jar and then pour your hazelnut milk through. It might be nice to screw on a lid and just allow the milk to filter through while you gather up the rest of your ingredients. Squeeze out the remaining milk and then add it back to your high speed blender. For our natural sweetener today, I'm going to use six large pitted medjool dates, but feel free to use less or to use your preferred sweetener. Next, I have two small cans of coconut cream, which is about one and one third cup, two teaspoons of pure vanilla extract. Last, our spices are one teaspoon of Ceylon cinnamon, one half of a teaspoon of nutmeg, and one quarter of a teaspoon of cardamom. Let it sit for about five to 10 minutes just to soften up the dates. And then we're ready to blend up all of your ingredients until you have a smooth and creamy consistency. I let my blender run for a good minute or so. Place in the refrigerator until you are ready to enjoy. We are at my favorite time of making these recipes. I get to give it a taste. It looks so good. So a couple of things that you can add to the top are some whipped coconut cream, some cinnamon, and even some turmeric or nutmeg would be absolutely delicious. So it is time. Wow, that drink has so much flavor. Oh, it's heavenly. I absolutely recommend giving this one a try. You certainly can reduce the dates if you don't want it to be as sweet, but regular eggnog is usually pretty sticky sweet, so I, I added in six full dates. It is so good. I don't know what else to say except give it a try. Thanks so much for joining me today. Hey, take great care of yourself this week. Make healthy choices. And I look forward to seeing you next week in the kitchen. Bye-bye.